Mr. King for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I thank you, Mr. Secretary, for your testimony and your response to the questions here. I'm not going to have any about cotton, just to leave this. And, uh, but, I, but I would like to go just to a number of things in, um, as um, a very, very large percentage of the avian influenza that hit this country was not only Iowa, but was my district specifically, with something like 74 percent of the state of Iowa um, that was hit was in my district and are somewhere in the 60s. Uh, overall, for a while, this was a national measure of the layer loss that we had. I want to say that I, I believe that the way the USDA has handled the turkey loss on AI has been, uh, generally speaking, the, st the strategy for it has been adequate, and uh, the things that we've learned from that will make us better going forward. But I, I believe the disposal, for example, of turkeys and the composting in the building is um, it manages it and handles it well. And we add to that the things we've learned. I think we're perhaps prepared for another debacle of that uh, of that nature. However. Um, with regard to the layers, I wanted to ask you about if you've made any changes in your strategy on disposal of layers where we may have as many as 5 million birds on a location that need to be disposed of very, very quickly. That seemed to be the biggest problem that cropped up in this huge loss that we had. And If you've made any adjustments there in policy. Uh, I would say we have because we want to do it within a 24-hour period of time, so we're trying to speed up the process. And then secondly, we want to preposition assets in terms of knowing whether landfills are available or other uh, disposal methods on the farm, uh, which we have been able to, to uh, use in states where we think there is a potential for this to reemerge. So we are better prepared today than we were, obviously, when this hit last year. Thank you. I just wanted to bring that up um, for the sake of us having a focus on that component, which was the most difficult, I believe, of, of all that we faced. Uh, the formula on the indemnity payments has been brought to my attention multiple times by, by layers that uh, the data that has been used on that by APHIS is, is older data back as far as 2010 and 11 um, from the um, BEA. And so uh, has that been brought to your attention in the past, and are you, have you taken any steps or considered um, bringing that up to modern data and uh, readjusting your formulas for our layers on indemnity? Congressman, we have made changes to that indemnification process, and we will always be open to additional, more current data to make sure we are doing the right thing. I would caution that we want to make sure that it, it continues to be an indemnity effort as opposed to an insurance effort. I think uh, if it is to be an insurance effort, that is something that you all have to decide uh, when you craft the next Farm Bill. And I would say putting together insurance on this is a very difficult proposition. We have looked at that as a means of representing my constituents. And uh, if somebody can present a good formula for that, I am very interested. It didn't go as smoothly as I had thought it might or hoped it might, I should say. Uh, but then have you changed the formula? Because uh, one of the things they are asking is that if you would move from the 2002 to 2011 formula to the uh, just up one year even to the 2003 to 2012 formula, it would change that that uh, gross margin deduction from an 85 percent um, margin down to an 80.5 percent margin, that would be a significant difference to our producers just to move up one year. Uh, is that something that you have done or considered? Changes have been made, uh, Congressman, and I will get you the specifics on exactly how we, but we, uh, we made an effort to try to listen and adjust based on the information that was being provided to us by the industry. And I will provide you a more a fuller uh, set of questions here, too, that will be helpful, I think, in responding to that. And, and I appreciate that. I also, uh, it is my sense that we have got a pretty good handle on PED. Is that also your sense? I am sorry, what? On, on a pretty good handle on the PED virus? Yes. Uh, although, you know, with these things, they can crop up uh, at any point in time. And that is exactly what I hope to hear that our attention is on that um, so that we remain prepared. And uh, I think we have done a reasonable job of reacting to it and, and overcoming that challenge. Then uh, also I wanted to point out to you um, into this record that the, uh, we have contract growers, uh, the, uh, they are turkey producers. There is a, still remains a collection of claims against one of the contractors that did um, some of the recovery work in, in, uh, in my district, and I don't know how broad this goes. And so as some of these claims get put in a place where they are either a claim uh, uh, with APHIS or the contractor, and that is not definitive sometimes on who has the responsibility for that. And I wanted to bring this to your attention 
because I believe a list is coming to me very soon that aggregates these claims. I don't think it's a huge situation, but it's huge to the people that are affected by it. And I'd ask um, for your cooperation on that and perhaps collaboration if we could get that resolved and, and uh, close the books on the avian influenza in my district. Get, get us the list, Congressman, and we'll, we'll work with you. I will do that, and I thank you for your testimony. I thank the Chairman. I yield back the balance of my time. Chairman, time's expired.